Uh, there's not a lot going on, uh, more or less just uh, some curious patrons uh, asking why there's so much uh, uh, buzz around here in terms of the number of media and uh, uh, also a lot of reserved tables here, as you can see, uh, at some of these locations here. Uh, so that does uh, suggest that there are going to be some uh, important people here later, and that's definitely true. We'll have uh, Aaron Waite, of course, of No YYC Olympics will be here. Maybe we'll see uh, some of the councillors who have been vocal uh, about uh, voting no for uh, the Olympics here. Maybe uh, we'll see some of them. Uh, well, let's face it, uh, this is the side of the argument that doesn't have uh, the slick presentation. It doesn't have uh, the slick backing uh, of Olympians, uh, of a lot of famous people. So, uh, you know, this is uh, somewhat to be expected here. But uh, make no mistake, this place will be uh, quite full as the night goes on here. Now, the No campaign has been compared to uh, the David, to the Yes campaign's Goliath. It's been an uphill battle for them but with less resources and, again, no real big names at their fingertips. But Calgarians didn't start hearing much from them until city council meetings in August. No YYC Olympics has hosted their fair share of rallies in the last month leading up to the plebiscite, teaming up with councillors who have publicly come out against the bid and with the Canadian Taxpayers Federation. Sometimes the right thing to do is the right thing to do, and in this case, that's voting no. That is sticking up for the everyday Calgarian. We guarantee the Calgarians that they would have the information that they would need 30 days, full 30 days before the votes, and unfortunately that promise hasn't held true. They created a graphic that started to gain traction, and they believe most of their support has been grassroots and online. The face for them has been Erin Waite, who has a background in communications and with nonprofits. She's been active at council and a strong voice in debates. We say there are things we can focus on as Calgary and do more for Calgary and do what Calgarians want and not what the IOC is asking us to do for their event. 